This episode brought to you by PatriotSwitch.com. We all know how the big box stores were allowed to stay open through all of this, while the little guys, small business owners, regular people were forced to stay closed. The wealthiest people in human history got wealthier, while mom and pop suffered. The question is, what are we willing to do about it? How can our voices be heard? We vote with our money. That's how we make a difference. No more shopping at big box stores with products that are stuck on cargo ships. PatriotSwitch.com helps Patriots get away from the big box stores forever. What if a whole bunch of us just banded together and walked away? We can shop Factory Direct at a family owned, Patriot owned, made in America manufacturer. That's exactly why Patriot Switch was created, with regular people like you and me in mind. We can finally stop shopping at these big box stores and take market share away from these companies that don't share our values and transfer those dollars to family owned companies for the future of our country. PatriotSwitch.com. Check it out. I can see this kind of conflict right now with a looming Supreme Court confirmation battle. I default to the word battle because that's the way it's portrayed in the press. And maybe it won't really be a battle as some conservative activists are saying they're not planning to go scorched earth against President Biden's nominee. Before you guys say anything, I know Mark Dice did it first. I'm just keeping it canon. Here we go again. It never fails. Brian is worried about, quote, conservative activists going, quote, scorched earth against Biden's nominees. I wonder why. Could it be because that's exactly what Democrats and their media do to every conservative SCOTUS pick? They claimed Kavanaugh was a gang rapist and Democrats actually invaded the confirmation in an attempt to stop it insurrection anyone they also accuse black male supreme court justice clarence thomas of also being a rapist and to this day have no qualms with accusing him of being a race traitor i have to say that i'm honored to be meeting you i watched those hearings as did so many other people mm -hmm. and to so many of us you are a heroine oh, well thank you thank you a, a black guy a black man a justice okay i'll give it to him he's a smart guy but he is to the right of attila the hun this guy terribly disrespectful to appoint someone like clarence <coughs> thomas with his philosophies to the seat of thurgood marshall a civil right i know yeah. and you pointed out first black woman there's only been two black men in it, it, it that those numbers are a little shocking. And one so we, doesn't really represent the black community. They even went after Amy Comey Barrett as a quote, wolf in sheep's clothing and a quote, right wing lunatic. He was craven <laughs> enough to know that he could put whatever judges he wanted in the United States Supreme Court, just call Dump again right. and say, hey, do Gorsuch, do, do, do Kavanaugh next, and let's do a Hail Mary with the real right wing lunatic. I mean, but now, of course, we're told to believe it's different. But let's be honest Fox wants a fight. Right wing radio and TV wants a fight. They need a fight over the Supreme Court. Okay, and this is different from the rest of the Democrat state media, how? I don't actually have the clip, but just before this, Brian began his inconsistent bawling by saying, quote, is there any way out of the cataclysmic conflicts that seem to consume everything? Divisions over COVID, vaccines, teaching, policing, feel like they're making the United States less and less so. Media outlets are very much a part of this entangled conflict. Us first them left versus right the middle versus extremes heroes versus villains alt-right versus mainstream and so on and so on he must not include himself or cnn in this criticism because literally seconds later he says but let's be honest fox wants a fight Right-wing radio and TV wants a fight. They need a fight over the Supreme Court. I'm telling you, they're either pathologically incapable of self-awareness or they're just paid liars. In any case, there's absolutely nothing unusual about the Democrats' political opponents putting up a fight over their SCOTUS nominee. Why wouldn't there be? Is it supposed to be a coronation? As if Democrats or Stelter would roll over for another conservative nominee. Not ever. Right-wing radio and TV wants a fight. They need a fight over the Supreme Court. They're already starting a fight that's rooted in white identity politics. Of course. Oh, of course. Because obviously, if anybody opposes Biden's nominees, who he already stated have to be black women, clearly the only reason that anyone would oppose them would be because of a white conspiracy to keep black people out of the Supreme Court. Except for the fact that it was white conservatives that confirmed the first black Supreme Court justice. Wrong. The first black Supreme Court justice was Thurgood Marshall, who served from 1967 to 1991 and was then succeeded by Clarence Thomas. Consider yourself black history, mother 
The truth is, it was Biden who made this about identity politics by promising to only hire a black woman, which of course excludes Asians or Hispanic people. Biden did that, not a shadowy cabal of white supremacists. All of Fox's primetime shows are outrage that Biden is committed to nominating a justice who is black and female. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm fine with the nominee being any skin color or gender. It's just obvious that picking the nominee based on these qualities is dumb. How dare these people adhere to their principle that judging people based on their skin color or gender is a bad idea. It's a funny thing. If you take a leftist or a Democrat and you ask them if they support doing this based on skin color or gender, they're gonna say yes, because diversity is our strength. However, if you ask them if college football or the NFL should be more diverse because it's mostly black, they're gonna say that's absurd. Why? Because you want to get the best people for the sport so the team has a better chance of winning. For some reason, they can't apply the standard to professional jobs or one of the most powerful institutions in the country. Be ready for lots of media hand-wringing and fake outrage over any scrutiny of these women. There's no doubt that anybody who raises any critical questions about these women is going to be in very dangerous territory. All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. As always, if you want to support this channel, please hit that like button, share, and leave a comment to let us know what you think.